This is my space. This is my area. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to do a third part of the video that I've done twice on my channel. When I was a freshman, I did a um, like get to know me type of video. It was called Hey, I'm Jada. And then my sophomore year, I did Hey, I'm Jada part two. Didn't make that video last year because like not much changed or a lot changed. Just I didn't necessarily document any of that change. But I'm going into my senior year of college and y'all have been with me since I was a freshman like that's crazy but I'm going to before I get into all of that you can't tell probably can maybe but I'm in a new area so I have an apartment now y'all like not student housing but like an actual apartment so if you want an apartment tour let me know and I'll definitely give you guys one of that like I love being over here this is literally just like my, my own little my little space so let's just get right into the video I'm Jada Simone Cook I'm 21 years old now and that's really crazy to say like watch out world I'm grown now Still going to Kennesaw State University. Um, the only thing that I guess about that is that's different is that instead of graduating um, in May 2021, I actually have three semesters instead of two, just because, you know, because of Corona and just like all of the things that are happening. But I'm not upset about it. At first, I was kind of sad that I wasn't going to be graduating, like leaving with the people that I came in with. Um, but it's fine. It's not a race. So as long as I get this degree, no shame. Um, I'm trying to think of the things that I said in the video, like the other videos, like the things that I was telling you guys. I don't want it to be the exact same because I kind of want to get like a little, I don't know. I'm really just answering basic like get to know me questions. Um, I'm going to have a new series on my channel called The Truth About or either like Let's Get Real. I'm not sure about the name yet, but basically I just want to talk about, you know, real things, not surface value things. For a long time, I feel as though my channel was just me putting out videos just to say that like I'm dropping something and it wasn't really anything that I cared about. I really used to love editing videos. I used to love the whole process of like filming, editing was my favorite, and then posting because I was making content that I actually cared about. But then so many people were making channels and I just felt like I needed my name to stay out there. So I was just posting things that like didn't pertain to my interests and I don't want to do that anymore. Um, and so I feel like because of that, you guys haven't really seen who I am, just the person that I'm showing you. So I want to make a new series on my channel. The name is still pending. So like I said, it's either the truth about or let's get real. And basically, I'm just going to be talking about like real things that happen with people that people don't necessarily talk about. So like depression, mental health, mental health in the black community, heartbreak, losing friends, you know, just like real things so that you guys get a better chance to know like who you're subscribing to so that i'm more open and vulnerable with you and that way you know if somebody else has gone through something similar to me they're able to share their experiences with me as well and hopefully like my words help someone else because that's all i want to do just touch other people help other people uh just allow people to grow and to be being the best versions of themselves because like who doesn't want to be the best version of themselves so that series is coming soon um I'm really nervous to like just be talking about my life and just things that have gone on with me. I'm really nervous about it, but like I feel like in order to really, you know, fulfill my purpose, that's something that I feel as though I need to do. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm really, really excited to be doing that. So yeah, my favorite colors now are kind of, you can tell just about like, I like earthy colors. So whites and brown, like shades of brown. I love green. Um, I mean, I'm gonna say that yellow could be a shade of brown. I'm thinking of like brown, orange, yellow, tan, like colors like that, which is literally essentially what my entire room is. I really love plants and just like the greenery that plants give off. I'm filming. Um, okay, so my favorite genre of music, I know that's a topic that I talked about. It's still R&B and like alternative R&B. Really love that. I just really love hearing like different instruments in music and just hearing like the melodies like I'm a dancer 
and so just hearing like all the different beats and just like it just makes me like want to move and i just like how it makes me feel um yes male artist my favorite like top two and not even two i love black he's my favorite love don toliver um Jibion, party next door drake i can't even think of like my favorite artist but um female artists love SZA, love Kehlani, love Snow Allegra. Like someone gave me a record player and literally the first two albums that I got, these are my favorite albums in the entire world. I know like whatever I'm going through, I can just listen to these, listen to them, like just listen to music by them period and I know that they'll get me through whatever it is that I'm going through, so. It matches my room. I really like a lot of different music. So if you um, want to see like my monthly playlist or just like the music that I'm listening to every month, let me know and I'll either make a video for it or I'll just put the links down in like my description box every month because I do update it every month because like I listen to different, I love music. So I listen to different types of things all the time. Something that I've done recently that I never used to do, when I wake up in the morning, I listen to podcasts. Like that's a, I like starting my day off that way. I start off by opening the Bible app, thanking Jesus, thanking God that I'm alive because without him, I wouldn't be here. None of this would be possible. So I literally start my days off by like just thanking God for life, thanking him for everything that he's done for me, blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, that's before I even get on my phone. And then once I do get on my phone, the first app that I try to get on is the Bible app um they have like stories and it's like they have scriptures and stuff and like like a pastor that's preaching different things just like really really quick it takes like five minutes out of my day and then i listen to a podcast um the podcast really just varies on like what i want to hear for the day um if i'm trying to you know stay up to date with my current events then there's a podcast called the daily and that's just when i really want to like have a better understanding of what's going on in the world because sometimes i feel like i get lost because so many people have so many different thoughts and opinions about everything that's happening and i'm not one of those like i obviously like my opinion is very strong and i think it's okay to change your opinion when you find out more information but i'm such a person that gets scared to like express their opinion out of fear of being wrong or just like lack of knowing they come out with a new one literally every single day and it's just about current events and just like what's going on in the world and that's something that i feel that i need to know just you know being a black woman in the 21st century in this economy in the middle of the pandemic i feel like that's just something like that I want to do for myself but if I'm not doing that it's not rare but it's not every day that I listen to it but um I also like to listen to like spiritual podcasts and a good one is called pow her so it's like power but pow her and her because the force is female but um yeah it's by two women and they're great they just talk about like manifestations like believing in yourself just like different things that i feel like it's really good for me to just like ground myself because things are really crazy nowadays y'all like so much is going on and it's like so much is unknown and i have moments where i'm just like mentally like i feel like i'm overwhelmed by a lot of things and so i just like to you know tune into myself listen to the things that my body's telling me listen to things that just you know like that i'm giving i like to be aware of like the person i like to be aware of my energy i like to be aware of the person that like people see me as i like to be aware of like who i am behind closed doors who i am when no one's looking and also like who i am when people see me i just want to be in touch and in tune with myself because i feel like the more in tune with that uh, i feel like the more in tune that i am with me then you know just like the more that i can spread love to others and especially nowadays like i feel like loving others and just giving love to people is so important right now so this is kind of a side note but it's just you know about me this whole video is about me but it's kind of a side note just like tell somebody that you love them today if you haven't talked to someone in a minute you know just reach out to them see how they're doing um that's just something like really important that i feel like we just need to spread love especially you know now but yeah like i just like hearing and learning about new things and just hearing other people's insight about things so any good podcast that you guys have listened to just let me know down 
below okay and also let me know like your favorite artists and just like your favorite songs because i'm always willing to listen to new music country i'm sorry i can't get down with country and i will not get down with like metal it's just not happening so don't even waste your time okay favorite food chicken wings and rice literally i eat fried rice just about every week um i eat chicken wings every week too honey hot goes crazy i don't eat beef and pork anymore um because that's just my preference baby i think i'm about to get some rice i love rice and i think it's because my roommate is like um black and filipino and she loves rice and she was always just eating rice and i never understood and then i started eating rice and i'm like oh go crazy they would drink water still but now that i'm 21 but now that i'm 21 my favorite alcoholic beverage is tequila yeah i'm a tequila kind of girl so sorry mom <laughs> Favorite snacks, I don't really eat snacks that much, but if I did, it would be like some type of dried fruit, like dry mango or like chocolate covered pomegranate. Goes crazy. I love, oh, I like bread. And it's a problem because I feel like I'm bound to catch diabetes if I don't slow down. So I'm gonna slow down with that. But I love bread. Cinnamon pull aparts, they have some at this place in Kennesaw called Night Owl Pizza. Um, it's like these little knots with like butter and cinnamon and it's delicious and I literally can eat six of them. There have been times where I've ordered 12 and they're like this big. They bust. Okay, something else. I miss dancing. Um, I really, okay, it's crazy y'all. So I started back dancing literally like two days before the freaking Georgia decided that it wanted to shut down. I mean, not decided, it was for safety reasons, but like I started dancing two days before the whole government, not government, the like state shut down. And just for months I was in the house and I wasn't dancing and I felt like dancing was my stress reliever. It's just how I got like my emotions out. And for so long, like I wasn't able to do that. So I started journaling, like I started writing out all my thoughts and emotions, just how I feel. I recommend that to anybody. And I was talking and he said get a journal just write out whatever you feel write out your thoughts just write out your feelings when I wake up to a good thing that I like to do like sometimes I have crazy dreams y'all and sometimes like people pop into my dreams that I would never expect to pop in it's like we don't even talk anymore but you are living rent free in my head what but no so I like to write out my dreams just so I can keep track of all those things I just write out my feelings I'll even write out a grocery list I just write out everything and i started doing that when i couldn't dance because dance was literally how i got out all my emotions sorry and then i have this one it says it's very small very tiny very dainty how i like it it says i love you always this tattoo means more to me than anyone knows like no one really knows the real meaning because i haven't told anybody um i didn't get a person's name tatted on me but i got something that they said to me before so that's that. And then I have this one right here on my hip. It's a knife and a rose. And that's just a reminder to me to protect the things that I feel are most beautiful. Um, that's when I really started like processing my sexual assault and stuff. And that's around the time that I posted that video. And I don't know, just my body and who I am, it's very beautiful to me. And I just need to always remember to protect it. So that's that. What else? I really don't know what to say. I think all in all, um the main difference of who i am who i was as a freshman from now as a freshman actually they're kind of similar as a freshman i was going into college really just trying to find myself figure out my niche figure out my groove just figure out who i was as a person and that's exactly what i'm doing right now it's like i had an idea and then life literally stopped it really just forced me to think like who am i when no one's watching because it was literally it was just me in my head and my thoughts and just like a few friends around me for such a very long period of time and it really just made me start thinking and then i was going through like experiences in life that just made me think like who are you who do you want to be who do you want the world to see you as more importantly who do you want to view yourself as and so that's the thing that i'm still you know going through right now just like i'm i also feel like it's because 
I'm in my 20 somethings and this is the period of time where I'm supposed to be going through like the really high highs and the low lows and just in between. And it's figuring out like who I am. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. Just figuring out who I am and who I wanna be. And sometimes it's really scary because I have no idea and other times I'm, in, I'm completely sure of me. So that's that, I think. Um, Jada has definitely grown a lot. I matured a lot. I've been more, I'm a lot more appreciative of, you know, just life and the things that the universe gives me, the things that God gives me. I'm just very like, I don't know, I'm very appreciative. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel down below. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Peace out. If you like my nails, look. In the video last year, my nails were tore up from the floor up. And in the video before that, my nails are good. I remember I always have nails, but like, look at them. They're literally like little gardens. Like, it's like a clear garden. They were butterflies, but some of them came off, which is fine. We don't have to talk about that. But yeah, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel down below. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Girl Scout.